Everybody, this is Christian Buckley doing another MVP Buzz Chat, and I'm talking today with Martha. Hello. Hello. So good to meet you, Christian. Great to always great, exciting to talk to brand new this month MVPs. So very exciting. So for folks that don't know you, who are you? Where are you? And what do you do? Uh, all right. No. Yeah. So uh, my name is uh, Martha. I'm from uh, Norway, so Oslo based. Um been doing uh, well I'm a data platform MVP so into the data world been uh, well I started out with Power BI once upon a time uh, mm-hmm. and that's where how I started with the with the data data stuff and then doing Power BI stuff which is this reporting world you figure out that how that data is coming into your port is really really important so then I started moving back in that uh, modeling view looking into well, more Azure components like ADF and Synapse and Databricks and so on. So then I, yeah, I expanded and figured that, wow, there's a lot of cool things you can do with uh, with data. There are a lot of good, th- cool things you can do. <laughs> I, I, so I often remark about how, um, you know, working in, you know, back in my first third of, of my career, 30 year career was in data warehousing, uh, you know, like I did data center consolidation. And so working with moving data, merging data, connecting it for, I worked for the phone company. So massive company, you know, millions of users, you know, uh, within the, the, the region. Um, and, but when I started to get into software as a service and go moving towards collaboration, I stopped seeing DBAs. I stopped seeing people that lived around like the data, like, you know, they're there, but they were so prominent in my world in the data warehousing world. And then I got into the Microsoft ecosystem in the, in the mid two thousands. And was like, there were no DBAs. Like, does anybody like who's collected? Who's doing things with this? Like the data didn't stop growing. Well, I know it's, it's a great question. Like for me, or I always, you know, when I'm working and I'm in meetings and then people go, Oh, you know, I've been working with data for 20 years. I mean, I, I know SQL all the way back. And well, I don't, <laughs> I can't say that I'm, I'm pretty new. I've been working for four years. So, uh, so fresh to everything and uh, coming straight out of, of, of studies, but I started actually as a marine technology. Like that's what, that's what I, I've studied marine technology. So I'm really good with shapes and waves and things, mm-hmm. but then I figured that I needed to know, to know more about boats. No, 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 sorry. No more about data. I wanted to learn that and started that. Bo- boats would be program. a completely different focus. <laughs> I know, okay. I know. But I figured, well, we need to make this marine tech world, which is kind of uh, old and not that new in tech. I wanted to change that, right? So that's why I wanted to learn about data. So I started as a graduate uh, in a consultancy firm working with data. So that means that I've, I've never worked with a DBA, right? Because I yeah. just started and I've yeah. only worked with like um, cloud uh, cloud resources, that type of thing. So I don't know the answer to that question. I don't know where yeah. the DBAs are. Well, <laughs> but the, see, that was the interesting thing. You had a, a, a bunch of a companies. So about 10, 15 years ago that started promoting themselves as big data companies. And I just kept thinking, I'm working in the collaboration and knowledge management spaces. Like, everything is a big data problem. What do you do? Like, know, companies are collecting so much data, but I think that's one of the, the things that I, your, your example of like Marine related data is that um, every industry, every business is collecting so much data. And I think one of the failures of business broadly, and I'm comfortable saying this, we're failing to adequately understand what data we have Yes. What do we know about it? How do we use that? So yeah. having data analysts, having data science people on staff is critical for the future. Yeah, I agree. And I, I also remember just like a couple of years ago, big data. Wow, that was the best word. You know, everyone was talking about big data and how could you do all this compute power and how could you make value out of that data? And, and then we were talking about shit in and shit out and all of that. But I agree now it's, and also with, with this new 
uh, technology like Fabric that was just released. And now you don't need to think about the integrations. You don't really need to think about compute and all of that. You just need to uh, know your data or have solutions that can help you know your data. So what data do I have? What's the quality of that data? And also even some AI on top of that to maybe help you prompt some insights. Uh, so it's really exciting times. Things are yeah. changing and yeah, we don't but, need yeah. that. Heavy One other anymore. important factor to know is that, uh, especially with Microsoft looking at consumption models is also accessing your data, doing things with the data. How is Mark Microsoft charging you to utilize yeah. the tools on that? <laughs> I, I don't want to, I know that's a whole nother topic. Um, yeah, to, it's a big get, question. Get a lot of people angry <laughs> talking about that. Well, let me ask you this. So what was your, what was your path to becoming an MVP? how did you hear about the program? How did you get started? Oh yeah. So I, I, um, I got a really cool uh, colleague, Johan Ludwig Kratos. He's also an MVP, a data platform MVP. Uh, and he was just uh, talking like one of the first days. Uh, in the office, uh, he was just chatting and said that, yeah, I'm going to this conference uh, presenting on this uh, thing. And I was like, whoa, amazing. How can you, how can you do that? I, I, I want to do that. I want to talk about things like tech things and be excited yeah. and try to, you know, get other people excited about that. Um, so he just, uh, you know, yeah, no, that's not uh, difficult. Just, you know, uh, submit a session on Session Eyes and, and you're good to go. So I, I tried and, and then since then it's been a lot of conferences traveling the world and learning and getting to know this SQL uh, community, SQL family, mm -hmm. uh, which has been so, so amazing and getting to know other MFPs and so on. So for me, it's really been about, uh, yeah, these conferences, talking to people, trying to share my passion for data and, and Microsoft technology. And also that two-way communication where you can meet people and you can learn from them. And yeah. yeah, that's been really valuable. So yeah, I didn't really know the MVP bus, what that was mm -hmm. about <laughs> until being in the in, being in the community for uh, a couple of years. And then I was like, oh, wow. So, oh, your MVPs. Wow. Now I, now I realize that's so cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, so there are huge, huge benefits to it, uh, uh, and you you just missed the uh, you know the in person the annual MVP yeah. summit. But of course, I next did. year should be hopefully even even bigger. It was kind of a last minute thing this year. It's fantastic that Microsoft had the held the event, uh, and I, I always tell new MVPs like it, it is. I realize that it's a big expense and time expense yeah. to to fly over to Seattle. Um, but it is by far the best perk of being an MVP mm. is meeting the product team, the people in person, meeting all the other MVPs, learning different topics. I mean, it's it's just fantastic. Um, yeah. So, and I would plan to go early, stay a little bit long, really kind of soak it in. But uh, so what are your kind of passion topics right now? What are you speaking on and writing about? Uh, well, it, well, I started out uh, with Power BI, so so that was a natural topic for me, and then and then data governance in general because everyone was just messing <laughs> messing up their Power BI setup with too many reports and so on. So that's been my main topics. But then obviously with the new introduction of Fabric, me coming from Power BI, I'm obviously really excited about, about that. So now it's all about uh, Fabric trying to learn the new new things and and also seeing where the value is and where maybe also where you shouldn't use it or like we're st i'm still trying to figure out what's the downside of this because so far it's really really awesome and just a really cool tool so yeah yeah there's there's a well like any any technology you need to understand the constraints the limitations yes, um, exactly and so that's with any adoption cycle you're excited by all the cool things you could do then you get frustrated by the things that it can't yet do. Yeah. And then you get invested <laughs> in the roadmap. You'd be like, well, Microsoft says they're going to add these things. And then two yes. years later, you're still waiting. <laughs> exactly. Uh, it's, that's, yeah, that's going to be interesting. And I'll, and everything is in preview. So who knows what's going to happen? But yeah, there's a lot of promises. So I'm, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I always try to, to uh, temper that excitement, especially with, with customers about, you know, like, yeah. You, you can yes. only go and plan off of what is available today. Mm, you, you can't plan on something though. Microsoft says, oh, by the end of the year, well, that could slip. The, it could be half the features that you were expecting. 
yeah. you, you just you can't live your life that way so well, that's right one last question for you, but it's a long question, but around like <laughs> involvement in community. So what's, what's the community like, uh, wh what's your involvement in doing things locally, regionally? Yes. Oh, I have, I have some couple of really cool things that I'm, that I'm, that I'm super passionate about, but so we're organizing the other Saturday Oslo. So I'm a co-organizer, um, trying to bring in new, new, new speakers and, uh, like give them their first stage <laughs> to shine on uh, so that's this free event uh, that's running 2nd of september if anyone is around oslo that time please join um and also um organizing microsoft data platform user group norway uh, so that's also really low-key meeting area where you can come and ask questions have discussions uh, around topics regarding microsoft data platform so i also think that's a great great way to meet meet the local uh, community Yep. And then I just recently started this new group, which also I'm really excited about. Um, um, so we call it Wits Who Lunch, a women in technology who lunch, mm -hmm. uh, where we also have these uh, in real life <laughs> meetups where we can talk and chat and have this also really low key place to to have discussions and learn from each other. So because I've been yep. missing that I place that. where where we yeah. can actually meet. Yeah. Um and where it's not some big commercial thing around it, because obviously, uh, I mean, it's it's cool to to support women in technology, and I love that. But it's also nice to not have that commercial thing where it's only just us meeting to talk and to 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 learn from each other. That's something that uh, is so important, and I've I've done this at a number of companies I've worked for over my career too, where. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be something huge, even internally, it could be something where, you know, once or twice a month, you're getting together and kind of open yep. topics, um, but that there's real conversation there. It's not just getting together with people at work and having conversations about work. We were actually talking about broader topics and, yeah. you know, and had kind of focused topics. And I, I love that, that model. That's where a lot of that's where things grow and it expands to become, yes. you know, outside of the company, you know, eventually, uh, you know, it's more like what you're doing. That's more of community focused, which might mm -hmm. then evolve into another event and doing. Yes. That. So I love that. Exactly. Yes. You have that organic growth and that uh, excitement in the, like in the beginning where people believe in, in the idea and stuff. So yeah, so I'm really was, excited about Is that. your event, are you coordinating that through the communitydays.org site? No, not not the women in technology one. So maybe that's something I you need You can. To do. Yeah, that's it's yeah. it's a community activity. You can certainly cool. post that up there. But your That'll other awesome. your other data platform event there your your yeah, data that event, should be that is that should be that should be there. Yeah. And for folks that don't know what we're talking about, uh, if you go to <laughs> communitydays.org, that is you know Microsoft sponsored, but it's community events around the world that are so the formerly SharePoint Saturday, the SQL Saturdays collab days um you know you know sps events if you're familiar with any of those they're now kind of being you know one calendar of of those different activities so you can really get involved it's it points to other external sites as well as sites that are hosted there on communitydays.org so well very cool well I, I, again congratulations again for your mvp very Thank exciting you. <laughs> Yeah. Um, now you it's just so have to exciting. keep the momentum going. It's just, that's all you have to do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to do my best. I'm really excited. And it's, yeah, it's awesome so far. That's great. Well, it, it is, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's an amazing resource to build out your network to, to be, build context. So I always say that, uh, you know, one, don't go, get overwhelmed by the number of invitations to calls. Yes. You don't have to go to all of them. Yes. You can be picky about, about those. <laughs> Um, but it, you know, your core data platform monthly call, I would highly recommend you participate in that one. But other than that, uh, you know, just, uh, there's so much, it's just a matter of you focusing on what you want to consume and kind of add to your portfolio. So, uh, lots of opportunity coming your way. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thanks so much for your time. And for folks that want to connect with you, reach out to you, where are you most active in social? Where can people find you? Yes, yeah, so um, I guess it's easiest to reach out directly through LinkedIn, uh, Marta Moengen, uh, Moengen, yeah, whatever whatever works for you. Uh, and also Twitter. Um, I also post there as well. Excellent. Well, we'll get make sure that uh, people have all those links that are out on the blog and out on the YouTube as well. 
So uh, awesome. thanks so much for your time, Martha. Thank you for having me. Wow. Wow.